Peace, 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 peace. Greetings to all. Um, peace, peace, peace. So now I'm looking different. Let me shake that part out. Um, just a brief message. Um, brief message. Just a reminder. Some clarity that I got. Much self revelation. Let's give honest to source to the most high, the creator, um, whatever your higher power is. Just a little brief message that, uh, just a reminder, man. Even if just a little pick me up or something encouraging right now that I'm pretty sure we all could benefit from. Uh, just had to shout out the masterpiece, <laughs> but, um, I just got major clarity after listening to um, a, a beautiful soul or just a, someone that I received major insight from. Yes. Okay. Go watch a movie, baby, too. I'll let you know when something's ready. Hey, Tails. <sighs> That's when I was about to start or something. But, um, yeah. Greetings to everyone. I just didn't want to lose my train of thought by getting distracted by my princess. But, um, like I said, I, I just kind of been, um, really a lot to myself lately going through like a deep renewal going through a much needed purge um receiving much clarity when leo season leo rules the heart uh the heart chakra and i'm just getting reflecting on a lot of wounding aspect and getting a lot of clarity like where i'm at where i'm going and so forth and um this major insight I got, um, what I was about to do before I was, my princess came is that, uh, Love Dorsey, I don't know if you ever heard of her. Uh, she is like, just amazing soul that, like amazing, like sister that really, like certain videos I watch, just the insight that she has, the gems and so forth, uh, when it comes to just sharing knowledge on just experiences like childhood things you know similar to what i've spoken about no comparison no nothing like that it's more so like to hear it from a woman who just gives so many gems to men young men women and so forth it's like you know if you've been you know with me rocking with me for a minute you know how I hold people accountable or not just myself, but like certain things on here, like it may be triggering. You might going to get some, you know, things that ruffle your feathers and so forth, or just basically like awareness or insight and so forth. And just one of her videos, she said, uh, mentioned, um, how it's so important. And I believe it's just referencing to men, but around awareness, which really is for everyone. But she was just referencing on how to be, like accepting of your own world at peace with your own world and you know being you know just knowing who you are no matter what especially you know she was very targeting like men in a sense but again it's relatable to all women but to everyone but that right there i was pondering on because i was like wow it's so important that Again, based on our childhood, based on our experiences, a lot of us did not have the best upbringings or 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 people who were sur that surrounded us with a lot of love, a lot of even men teaching us more about discipline and self awareness. And then you know we go down this road of learning these lessons if we're choosing to actually accept it and learn from it and receive wisdom from him and i i was like had to come on here to remind y'all of that because 
that has been one of the most challenging things. Two things I'm going to speak about is that deep acceptance of returning to the essence of, you know, my childhood, recovering that, that innocence. Because, you know, and the reason I say that is like when we really look at our childhood and things like that, when you see like a lot of kids that, um, you know, when I see my, when, when I, for instance, when I see my princess and I see her just in her own world, you know, I've had a lot of things come up with myself and um, that really reflects the emotional support that I did not get. And I'm grateful because it helps me unlearn and, and be a bridge now for a more healthy approach towards not only myself, but women and little girls and so forth. And, you know, kids just have a natural fascination to life. And I feel like what a lot of us have been consumed by is that we have gotten so much away from that, that fascination of life, like simple things. Like when I go with her, I had to remind myself, you know, those of you that know that I'm an artist in certain things, it's like, in my world, it's completely different than her, completely different than anybody else's. And that's something we need to be reminded of is that our world, our experience is completely different. And so I'm gradually on this journey as I'm healing is realizing that, you know, she's learning emotions. She's learning this experience. It's new to her. And it's also new to me as well. And a lot of us, because we so used or have been so used or been consumed by uh, the old narrative of the old world of being a workaholic, being consumed by, you know, being like consumed by the ego, being in having upbringings or experience that are by people that are uh, uh, driven off control, narcissism, you know, that are wounded and so forth. And, you know, lately, you know, like just real life, like most people don't talk about it, but the struggle is a part of the process. Like this, this, I've been on this entrepreneur journey for some years now and the struggle of even trying to stay consistent through that consistent, consistently trying to recover my, my sense of innocence and peace and, and, um, and through that process, like wounding things coming up so much to where a lot of doubt, a lot of things from my childhood comes up, childhood memories, repressed memories, things that I have suppressed throughout the years. And in that process, it's like really as coming into manhood, it's like really accepting what's in my world and being at peace with that, no matter what someone can come at me with, no matter who I'm dating, who I'm seeing, or even people from my past or things that I went through to where, you know, if someone's still going through something, they feel like they want to bring it to my attention and so forth. It's really just being the deep acceptance of where I am currently and presently, that sense of awareness, especially for us young men and men and so, and so forth. And so, um, it's been a, it's been a process, man. Like, I feel like we, we overlook the struggle as if it isn't a part of like the process. And, and as I say that, it's like an image of like, if you plant a seed and you see how that seed like is surrounded by dirt. Right. And, you know, just giving you this visual, the seed surrounded by dirt. But even the pressure for that seed to have to expand in that, that, uh, that those roots begin to grow, that plant begins to like expand out of where it's at. And even around it is the pressure of the dirt, the rain, you know, all those elemental things or all those things around it that still play a major role in the expansion or evolution of who we are, but an analogy of the plant, like who you are. So, and even with that, it's like that struggle of that plant having to survive the weather, um, not just, you know, um, man, I'll be coming up with some amazing like storylines, but it's like, even like, you know, that seed where it's at, like the nourishment it may not get, but, you know, 
it, it still has a way of through that survival somehow some way the rain or something you know nourishes it or gives it exactly what it needs and that's like looking at that as like the most high even when let's say someone is let's say a caregiver is let's say the caregiver is the person that is supposed to that, that was in your life that gave or help people that came and gave life to you like let's say they planted this seed in this in this pot right and you are the seed just giving like this analogy this is how my mind operates it's like visual but um and they're supposed to come and water the plant like daily or however this plant is supposed to you know expand or prosper or let's say whether it's in the house or let's say it's a garden and the caregivers are people that are supposed to come and water and let's say you didn't have the environment let's say you know as me as a young boy i didn't have those environments where i were watered a lot or nourished with love or certain things that where i felt embraced and accepted so if you didn't have that process a lot of us didn't have that process where people neglected the plant then the plant began to either wither away or somehow some way it still survived it still uh flourish no matter what because once it broke the surface then you know the dirt there were still let's say it's a garden and then you know people neglected the garden but you know sometimes the garden can overrun with weeds and bugs and certain things and i'm just giving you this symbolism of this visual of like that representing people places environments and so forth or those weeds can be symbolized as like trauma you know anything that you would like to use so that being said, it's like, again, had certain people come and, 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 and toy the, tore the land or, you know, snip the weeds and so forth, then now a lot of us, those weeds are certain things. Now we have to weed out people, places, subconscious fears, things coming up in our lives to where, you know, as a man, I've having had to literally deep accept, like accept the fact of like, wow, that memory keeps coming up, that, that emotion keeps surfacing, you know, that, that anger behind that memory, that repressed memory and so forth. And the, the one, one of the most challenging things from my journey is, which goes into the, from the first part to this one, it's like, I think it's for a lot of us and I'm, trying not to get choked up with this but it's like really accepting that you are the god in light of your lineage of your of of the people that sometimes is in your life and the cha most challenging thing from that is is that the importance of accepting the world you're in is knowing that you're not really of this world and with that it's like i told myself and I heard Pac say this in a song. He was like, fuck the world, let them adjust. And once I really like heard that and listened, I was like, wow, that make a lot of sense. Because to me, it's like, if I don't accept deep acceptance of who I am and realize like how much people were trying to mold me into who they wanted me to be, whether caregivers, relationships and so forth. And even me being on the, not just the receiving end, but on the uh, re giving in, trying to shape and mold people. Sometimes we unconsciously do it with our kids, you know, to where we're like trying to feed them this narrative and so forth of you got to do things this way. You got to do things this way. And that's been the most challenging things when you realize that no one really gets you. Not everyone, but it's like, I've been sitting here reflecting deeply, like my mom don't even know me. My father don't know me. There's, there's relatives or certain people that really don't even know me. And moving forward is deeper because now it's like you're coming into this new character, new stage in your life. And people like, I don't know who that is. I only know you for being this person. I only know you for... You know, because my nickname is TJ. I only know you for being, you know, because some people don't even know that's my nickname. But certain people I grew up with were like, oh, what's up, TJ? That's the first thing I say. Then you got some people like, oh, what's up? 
like my other nickname growing up from one cousin, you know, what's up, Jack? You know, just a nickname or people know me as that. And, you know, it's it's still a part of you have these different versions that everyone knows of, whether through experiences or not, whether people are new, even here, people have their version of me. Um, and, and the thing about what that is, is like going back to the struggle part. It's like the entrepreneur part, like of me being where I am, is that there are people, and this is a part of accepting, I had the deep accepting of my world, is that I've been in relationships where I've experienced like jealousy because people don't really know who they are. You know, the jealousy of partners, um, even relationships with caregivers, parents, if you want to use that term, that due to their own wounding, due to their unfulfilled, you know, emotional, being un emotionally unfulfilled or not having a healthy dialogue in relationships or in their childhood, you know, there's a there's a narrative they have with their kids, whether they know it subconsciously or not, or that they create you know, a, a trauma bond some of us have experienced. And that right there is, a, that's the struggle, man. People don't realize it's like the deep acceptance of my world and believing in myself and having faith and taking a leap of faith on myself with or without finances, things where you don't hear people talk about as an entrepreneur or just even my own journey where you can see not so much the ups and downs, but hit rock bottom where the only thing I had to do was to fucking create my art. I didn't know where nothing was going to come from. You know, I, I, I didn't know where I was even going to live sometimes. And a part of that is still being the God in light or having faith and not trying to accept what everyone else feel you should do but really knowing what your dreams and visions and the most high has revealed to you. And through that process, it's like, yes, you, yes, to, to other people, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, they're lazy. You're going to be called everything, but the child of the most high, honestly, but that struggle or, you know, the struggle is real or just learning who you are through those, through that process, the layers of yourself that never really go away. That's been the deepest thing for me, the layers of myself. Like as you reflect, you realize that those re things that were repressed, that had to come up, that you had to acknowledge was a part of who you are and who you're becoming. You know, part of me cannot ignore the struggle of like not knowing where I was going to lay my head, not knowing how I was going to eat, um, the struggle of growing up in environments where, again, that was not emotionally supported. This is not a pity party. It's just the fact of like the world has fooled you or fooled a lot of us to think like just because you hear these things like, oh, they have a lot of followers, subscribers or all this other stuff and don't know the backstory to none of what people go through. I'm going to be the first to tell you like, especially young men and those of you that are growing up, especially those of you that are like teenagers or whatever it is, or even some of us adults or whatever, we are in a transitional phase. And the biggest things is to really accept and make peace with where you are in that process of that transitional phase. In that process of some may call, like what I would call a tower moment where a job loss or a family member or a lot of things. And that's the struggle people don't see. You know, I had to recently reconnect with someone who, again, judged me harshly, said some of the most, let's just say this, they judged me harshly and they even accused me of, because this is, this is something that I had to make peace with in my world. Um, they judged me harshly uh, call me out my name and even um, accuse me of touching my daughter. And, you know, I recently, when I, after reconnecting with them, this was definitely like 
because I'm. this is not for everybody, but it was placed on my heart to see them. Even after months after, almost, yeah, a, like, uh, a lot of months after even, not even want to have nothing to do with them because what what people don't realize is like, y'all see me on here, but you never know someone's backstory. You never know, you know, that this will be someone that, okay, you meet them and at the same time, due to their own woundedness and pain, their own deepest insecurities, that they will actually come out their mouth and say something like that. And I know a lot of us has probably have dealt with people as such or even not something that similar. But, you know, in that process of this, that a lot of you don't know, is that when that happened, let me rewind, when that happened, um, I had just at that moment re-entered my child's life, you know, from going through my own struggles, going through my own thing and still trying to mentally process the fact of that I had like four to five people within a two year span or a uh, year and a half, two year span that has transitioned or died. And so this was, you know, seeing my daughter was like a beacon of light, like gave me life again to realize like, okay, you know, you got something to live for. But in that process, I had to realize I had me to live for. I had to also remember not to lose myself. Because again, how I, how I was speaking about how the being accepting of my world first, rather than trying to conform that to what others' beliefs and values feel like I should be, even as a father, a man, or a human being. That was a process of even re-entering her life because a lot of that has a lot to do with um, it's new, but at the same moment, we have to be reminded that our, we, we are our first priority. And I almost got consumed with that because it's easy when you have these projections, um, coming from everyone else about whether positive or in it, I don't want to use it like that, whether in a, in a, in a, um, in a way of projecting from their own insecurities or in a way of encouragement. Let's just say it like that. So again, y'all don't know a really a lot of when I say this healing journey ain't for the faint of heart. You're not just being a guiding light. You, you're, you're first trying to f see the dark things within yourself that you're trying to like through layers of healing, through layers of acknowledging things, through things that still come up from the past and as you're doing that, you don't even know unconsciously, if you're not aware of it, that you're also a guiding light, especially for your kids or younger people. Not just, you know, even the people that don't want to admit it that are of your, that are your elder and so forth. Because sometimes it's a process for people to realize, like, you know, this was the same person, as I mentioned before, that accused me of these things. And when I reconnected with them, they actually acknowledged that they were jealous. And I and I and I knew this, I have a discernment. My intuition already kind of knew. It was just a lot of, you know, we all go through things and people just assume because of what has been painted to society that just because a person baby, I'll let you know when they're done, okay? It's not done yet. You know it takes a while. You just ate some fruit. So let's just let that marinate. <laughs> Kids, boy. So um, you know, it's a we 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 have gathered this program to believe just because how someone looks, how someone um just because they have this or this is presented so perfectly, you know, that's the biggest illusion. And that's the delusion that a lot of us are in because we don't see the importance of how being emotionally intelligent as people, being you know emotionally secure, being secure within ourselves first, which the world has taught us the opposite of. You know, it, it, we have gradually gotten to don't acknowledge the struggle, the importance of what you went through, acknowledging the different phases, the different um, versions of yourself to see why you are who you are, and in that. You become unfamiliar to people who are not willing to evolve, who are not willing to change, who are not willing to grow and heal with you. And that's the thing I had to acknowledge 
and see with that person at that moment is that I knew from already being on my healing journey that 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 was a part of me that I didn't need to put my energy towards. You know, it's not always perfect like that, because, again, from the process of being where I am now, when I reflect on my past, when I see the importance of me not really knowing who I was, I had knowledge of it, but I didn't really know to the depths of how important my emotions were because I didn't go up around or were around people who knew the importance of that, you know, women and or men, you know, things that keep you structured, keep you balanced, keep you, you know, things that internal, your internal world. So when I'm speaking about acceptance of your world, I mean your internal world. Like, what are you in conflict with? And then you day to day go out and project on the other people you unconsciously project onto your kids. And this has been a deep wounding in humanity and so forth. And so, 